Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash is here and it's redefining AI-powered image processing. From object recognition to advanced editing, this tool is a game changer. In today's video, we'll put it to test with some incredible use cases. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by looking at the official announcement made on the Google for Developers page and you can check out this blog. I'll leave that link in the description. And uh, this was released a couple of days back and I've spent a couple of days using the API and the models available on Google AI Studio. In this tutorial, we're going to be just taking a look at how we can access native image generation in Google AI Studio. In the next couple of tutorials I'll be releasing, uh, we'll be talking about um, accessing the Gemini API using Google Apps Script. If you go through the article, it uh, gives you various examples of where you can use the 2.0 flashes multimodal outputs so you uh, so you can basically generate stories so in this example gemini they are using gemini to generate a story in other use cases you can edit an image and we're going to be following this particular use case right now where it looks at adding a flower or a set of flowers to a dining table so we, we're going to be taking a look at multiple use cases in this particular tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is hopping on to Google AI Studio and uh, I'm going to be clicking on create a new prompt. And you can see if you go to the right, you can see all the new models that are available. You have the Gemini 2.0 flash model. And this is the model that we're going to be focusing on today. That's going to be the image generation model. After that, you have the 2.0 flash light. You have the experimental one and then you have an interesting model that is the 2.0 flash thinking model. So the first uh, example or use case that I'm going to be using is the one that's mentioned in the article. So I'm going to be giving it an image of a dining table and uh, the prompt that I'm going to be giving it is can you add some flowers to the center of the table? So can you add some flowers or I'm just going to say can you add flowers to the center of the table. I'm, I'm going to click on enter and uh, in a few seconds Gemini should give me back an image with flowers on the table and you can see it has successfully generated an image with flowers in the center. And you can see there is the Gemini watermark that tells us this is an AI generated image and uh, maybe I don't like these flowers maybe I want roses so I'm going to tell Gemini this is fine but I like roses. Um, please add roses to the table and in a few seconds Gemini should understand and generate an image or generate the same dining table with roses as the centerpiece and you can see Gemini has successfully done that by generating an image with roses on it. Now this was a very simple uh, basic use case. Um, that was just adding flowers to something. But I want to test Gemini 2.0 Flash's capabilities with maybe object recognition or just giving me a description of an entire image. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be passing in a image of a Hong Kong street that is extremely busy and heavy. And I'm going to be asking Gemini to analyze the image and provide me a detailed breakdown of all the contents that are available. So this is the image that I'm going to be giving it and it's going to be looking something like this right it's a busy street in hong kong and the prompt that i'm going to be giving it is going to be saying that analyze the image and provide a detailed breakdown of its contents i'm going to click on enter and in a few seconds gemini should give me back a response that says the image captures a vibrant densely packed street seen in what appears to be a bustling commercial district in asia like Hong Kong. So yes, it detected that it's Hong Kong. Other than that, you can see the street level activity, your pedestrians, vehicles, crosswalks, your advertisements, your billboards, and it's given you a proper description of everything that's available in the image. Now this went, uh, this mainly maybe focused on object recognition and uh, Gemini also has the capability to edit your images and which is what we're going to be taking a look at now. And uh, before that, we should just look at a simple prompt that I'm going to be giving Gemini is generate an image of a man reading a book in a garden in bright sunlight. Mm -hmm. 
And here you can see Gemini has successfully generated an image of a man reading a book. Now I want to edit this image and say replace the man with a woman. So I'm going to type in replace the man with a woman. I'm going to click on enter. And you can see Gemini has successfully edited the image and given me an updated image of a woman reading a book. Now maybe let's replace the book with an iPad. So I'm going to say replace the book with an iPad. I'm going to click on enter. And here you can see Gemini has somewhat created an image with a woman using an iPad. And we were able to edit the image multiple times from starting by just asking Gemini to generate an image of a man reading a book. We then edited the image to replace it with a woman. And in the end, we changed the book with an iPad. Now, the next thing that we're going to be doing is I'm going to be fixing a proper issue that we used to face before. Whenever people go to tourist areas, they take a photo maybe in front of the Eiffel Tower or you are in, in front of a pyramid and you have tourists in your photo. So for this example, you can see there is an image of a man in front of some monument, which I'm not too sure of, but you can see there are people photo bombing it. So I'm going to be asking Gemini to please remove the people in the background. So I'm going to give it a simple prompt, just saying, could you remove the people in the background? And here you can see Gemini has successfully removed the two people in the background that were standing before and my image is complete. And this is how basically we can use Gemini to edit your images and uh, there's going to be one more very interesting use case that we're going to be looking at where I'm going to be giving it a image of a teacher writing something on a board. The board's empty. So we can now add a prompt that says add some text to the board and we can give it some text to be added. So I'm going to copy a prompt and I'm going to paste that here that says add the following text on the board that says today's lesson, the future of AI and automation. I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to click on enter. And here you can see Gemini successfully generated a image of some text written on the board. Now maybe I want a complex mathematical equation on it and I want it to be written in natural handwritten style. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a new prompt that says I'm going to be editing the current image and saying add a complex mathematical equation on the board in natural handwritten style as if a professor is teaching an advanced topic. You can of course adjust this to your particular topic or class if you are looking to generate images or logos or banners for your work. I'm going to click on enter. And here you can see Gemini has successfully generated an image with a teacher writing a complex mathematical equation on the board. And this is how you can use Gemini's capabilities um, in terms of image generation, image editing, and much more. You can use Gemini for various advanced image manipulations uh, where you can do some AI powered retouching and scene editing. And for this example, we're going to be looking at a final image where we want to increase the lighting of a particular image. So here I have an image of a dull lit room and I want to use Gemini to basically adjust the brightness, contrast and sharpness of the image. So I'm going to click on enter and I would like to see if Gemini is able to give me back a brighter image. And you can see Gemini has been able to make the image more brighter by increasing the light from the lamp that's there on the bedside table. But you can see where Gemini is going with editing images and the future of AI design is limitless. Your AI just doesn't edit your photos, but it understands it enhances them in real time. And we have explored some of the most exciting features of Gemini flash from object recognition to advanced edits. And this AI 
is making photo editing smarter, faster, and more intuitive. What feature excites you the most? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.